15 degrees cold and a bleak winter sun over the entrance building in a side street in the outskirts of Novosibirsk. I was required to leave my passport at the entrance. And here I was to see the sinister cathedral of aviation technology. The world's largest hall for stress testing of aircraft fuselages. The aircrafts are suspended from wires like giant puppets being subjected to torture. And here is the man who showed me around, Stanislav Kashafutinov. Stanislav Kashafutinov is a scientist of aerodynamics. Kashafutinov radiated humor, curiosity and skepticism. And it was a weird feeling to have a key person from the Cold War to be my door opener into the warmth of the Sibnia facilities. This passenger aircraft I was allowed to photograph, but not the new jet fighters on the test bench further down the hall. An Aeroflot jetliner of this type had an engine failure, and therefore it is subjected to stress tests here at Sibnia. From the stress testing hall I am guided through the underground corridors, still decorated Soviet style. We emerge at one of the wind tunnels. Here Kashafutino is with Sergei Dierishov, head of the wind tunnel facility. This model of a light passenger aircraft is suspended in the open low velocity wind tunnel. The advantage of an open wind tunnel is easy access both for model adjustment and for filming. Behind this tube is a large fan and the tube itself is designed to create a smooth airflow around the model. Notice that there are propellers lying at the bottom of the tube. The propellers are important for the aeroplane's aerodynamics. On my way out I discovered a fragment of Russian space history, a test model of the space shuttle Buran tucked away on a shelf after the project was cancelled in the early 90s. Kashafutino looks tired. Perestroika destroyed Russia, he says. It was better before, when money was plentiful, and he was a real key person in the Soviet military-industrial complex. Will Kashafutino see his life work and the giant cathedral of air technology crumble?